This is um, Skill Building Workshop 16, Introducing the Zhao Module. We're going to use this quite a bit in uh, many of the projects. Uh, I like it for a couple of reasons, uh, one of which it's low cost, small form factor, fits into a solder spreadboard. It's a pretty powerful microcontroller, SAMD21 on the inside, and it's got a built-in DAC plus a couple of analog channels that are 12-bit resolution. And that's going to turn this into a powerful data acquisition unit. And that's what we're going to explore in this series. I'm assuming you have a little bit of knowledge about Arduinos and the Arduino IDE, and you've already got it set up on your computer. Uh, before we can start using the Arduino IDE with the Zhao module, though, we need to do a couple of um, quick uh, installations. And to kind of walk you through it, what you should do is go to the, uh, you do a Google search for the um, seed, S, and there are three E's. That's the company that makes this particular one. We go for the Zhao module. And if you browse along, uh, you'll see pretty quickly there's the wiki page. Um, as a starting place, you definitely want to uh, start here, read through the instructions, the documentation. And in particular, you can scroll down. Here's the details about uh, what's available. We've got a lot of flash memory. That's going to be really good. That'll give us large array sizes. We get a lot of digital and analog pins. We do the I2C and, and SPI interface. Um, here's the, the uh, capacitive touch sensor on a couple of the pins. Uh, and then in particular, um, we got a 3.3 and a 5 volt, so it plugs into USB and gives us the opportunity for 5 volt or 3.3. Here is the pinout kind of top view. This is, this is pin 0 really, this is going to be the um, DAC output. And so pin 0, really important for us, DAC output. And then we've got some um, mix general purpose I.O. that are going to be the analog inputs, the ADCs. These are 12-bit. These are the ones we're going to use the most. Now you'll notice that of all the pins, there's only one ground. Makes it a little awkward. Um, we're going to do our best to improve the signal quality, but there are going to be some fundamental limits because only one ground. We got five coming out here and 3.3 over here. 3.3 is the bus that's being used for the core logic as well as the IOs. For the ADC, it's the reference. For the DAC, it's the reference. And so that's going to set some fundamental limits to the accuracy on this module. It's not designed for high performance, but it's designed for good general performance application. And we'll look at the voltage there when we set up the calibration for the uh, DAC and the ADC. Okay, so that's the pinout. Pay attention to where the 5 ground and 3.3 is, and it's these two that we'll use initially. And you can scroll down. Um, there's one other important set of pins that are going to be important, and it's these two over here. These are pads. This is the reset pad. Shorting these two pads together will reset the Zhao module. And it turns out there are a couple of simple limit or couple of limitations with the Zhao module. It's not the most robust module in the world. Um, two important limitations. One is um, any code that you write which affects the interrupts or affects the USB port will brick the Zhao module. And I'll show you how to brick it and I'll show you how to unbrick it as well. It's pretty simple to unbrick it. It's just a pain to have to do that. And so you want to pay attention to what limitations uh, to watch out for. And as we scroll down, a um, couple other things that are going to be important. Uh, and here is the, the example of unbricking. Um, this is going to be how we reset the, the Zhao module. Um, it loses, uh, you have to kind of effectively get it into back into the bootload mode um, so that um, it understands how to, how to talk over the USB port. Uh, let's see. And then you're going to scroll down. And here's where we get to the important part. So in order to use the Arduino IDE code, uh, in order to use the Arduino IDE with the Jean module, we have to make a couple of um, adjustments to the IDE. So you should download the IDE, use the latest one. Uh, we're going to um, uh, come over here, and it says here, uh, we need to install uh, this board manager. So you're going to 
uh, collect this guy here. You're going to copy him. You're going to uh, add him to the clipboard. And then when you open up your Arduino IDE, so here's a, a blank sketch. We go to File. We go to Preferences. And a couple things to make note of. I'm using a really large font just so it's big on my screen. You can see it. You'll want to use a more convenient font. Maybe 16 is a, is a good one depending on your screen size. Uh, everything looks fine. I particularly like to see the compilation and, and um, uh, upload verbose version. We're going to display the line numbers. Um, everything else looks fine. And then I also like to save when verifying or uploading, so I'm going to check that box. Now, in order to use the Arduino IDE with the Jean module, we need to add an additional uh, board manager. And the way we do that is open up um, the screen. Now, the print is really tiny. I, this I, I've already done it here. I'm going to just um, uh, delete it. And now, what we copied from the wiki page, we are literally we are literally going to paste uh, right here. So it's a uh, control V, we paste it in. That is the new um, board manager. We say OK. And uh, that's all we have to do in the preferences. We say OK. And then lastly, when we go to, um, uh, we have to install another board manager. We come over here to tools, we select boards, and go to board manager. And here in board manager, you're going to search for the um, the drivers for the the seed um, Jean module. So you just type in seed with three E's, and it brings up all of the built-in board managers. The particular one that we want to make sure is installed is for the SAMD boards. And you'll see here. Let's see. We have these guys. Ah, here's the Jean module. So it's included in this driver. Now I've already installed it, but you'll have a button here to install. Be sure to click that. Okay, and with that, we are ready to run. Always a good policy just to check, make sure everything is working. You plug in the Jean module, uh, uh, and then under Tools, we're going to select the um, Seed uh, SAMD. These are all the drivers, and here's the Jean module. Yep, I've got that selected, and we're going to grab the uh, port and the only one available here is port 7. Now there is an issue with um, the uh, USB communication is not as robust it's not as robust as I would like it to be and I have found that oftentimes um, if you go through a number of USB hubs uh, sometimes um, the interface hangs up and so to get the most robust interface I'd recommend plugging it directly into your computer if you can. Um, I'll show you some of the indications of uh, communication problems and what we can do about it. It's really simple to fix the problem, uh, but um, you don't want to have to do it too often. Okay, we are ready to go. Always a good policy, start with the blank sketch and un upload the blank sketch. So upload the blank sketch. We see compiling, 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 and Effectively, when you upload a blank sketch, uh, what you're doing is erasing um, the uh, uh, previous code and you're starting from scratch. Uploading, lights are flashing, uploading, and we're done. That's it. So we've got communication going with the Jean module. That's really great. That's the first step. And in the next uh, skill building uh, uh, video, we're going to look at accessing the DAC over here and the ADC over here.